Hello everyone, this is part 2 of the Crystal Reports video training series and now what we are going to do is, uh, as I mentioned uh, I'll just hit close and now we have our report right here and it is displaying all the records and information as we expected but when I click on the debug button or if I when I click on the run button it is just displaying the uh, the form the uh, you know the, the window right here but we, what we want to have happen is uh, uh, we want our report to be displayed. I mean, I, I can always go and, uh, you know, uh, from the uh, Kistro reports menu, I can always, you know, preview the report and it will just display uh, what is, uh, uh, you know, in the report. But uh, this is just a preview and we want our report to be displayed right, you know, in, in, the, in the form. So what I do is uh, I'll go to the toolbox. And what I have here is uh, these are all the uh, notes or something. If you see under the reporting uh, menu here uh, or the reporting tab, you will see the Kistrel Reports Viewer. This is a component that will allow us to view the uh, report uh, on the form. Okay. Uh, this is the uh, component name. You can always give it a name that you uh, like. Uh, and as you see on the top right hand corner is a small option and it says create a new crystal report. When you click on the create a new crystal report it will create a blank report and it will have an extension like RPT. What we need to do right now is just choose an existing crystal report, the one that we have already created. Uh, I'll just hit on that. And uh, now, as you can see, sure enough, we get this option that uh, the report that we already have, and that's all we need to do. Just hit OK, and there you go. We have the uh, same report that is uh, showing here. It is now being displayed on our form right here, and uh, you see the uh, uh, you you see the options on the top. If you don't want that, you can always you know. Uh, disable them. Let's say you don't want the group tree or other things. You can just you know uncheck that, and that will go away. And uh, that's pretty much it. So if I hit on the uh, save button, and uh, if I uh, now, for example, there are like couple of forms here, and I want this form to appear as the starter form. I can always double click, and I can choose the uh, the form to be the the starter form. And I think this is already set. I will hit on the save button and everything is looking good. If I just hit the start button and let's see if we get our uh, report inside our form. It is pulling the data. It's taking a little while and we should get a data. Where is our data? It's taking a little while. There you go. We have our form and it is displaying the report and this is a regular Windows form okay it has you know close restore maximize all the options and in my next video i'm going to be talking about how we can create the uh, the footer and the header and uh, making it little bo little a uh, little uh, little more uh, uh, you know user friendly or uh, making it much nicer to view because this is just a really simple plain report but i mean it is showing it is displaying what we need but uh, we would like to have something more display all right and uh, definitely as you can see the uh, you know uh, in, this is the group name and it is also displaying the uh, beverages again like, this is a repetitive information being displayed and we don't want this you want something else to be displayed so we will correct that so uh <music>